Today I've got this nice elementary geometry problem that comes from the Kata Yamahiko Shrine in Japan. So this problem's from around the 1800s, and problems like this are scattered all over Japan in shrines printed on wood tablets. So I think that's a little cool fact about the cultural and historical significance of problems like this. Okay, so let's see what our goal is. So we want to find the radius of the small circle here if the radius of each of these large circles is 1 and this rectangle is a square. So let's look at the setup. We've got a square, so along the diagonal we have two circles inscribed. Then we put two parallel lines that are tangent to those circles. And then we fit two small circles above and below those parallel lines. Okay, and like I said, we're assuming that this has radius one and we're going for the radius of this guy right here. And our strategy will be to take the measurement from the center of this square to the vertex of this square two different ways. So we'll first measure it like this. So we'll measure from here, which is like the center of the square, to the center of this circle. And then we'll measure from the center of this circle up to this vertex here. Okay, good. So you might say, well, why not just from the center of the square to the vertex? Well, notice we don't know the side length of the vertex. When all is said and done, we can calculate the side length of the square but I'll leave it to you guys to do that. Okay, so next we will do the same game, but in this other direction. So we'll take a measurement from this center right here to this spot, and then we'll take a measurement from this spot right here to the center of the circle, and then finally from the center of the circle to the vertex of the square. And now what I want to notice is that since we're going from the center of the square to a vertex of the square, all of these side lengths will add up to the same thing. So in other words, yellow plus orange will be the same thing as red plus green plus blue. Okay, so let's get to calculating these. Well, this yellow one is maybe the easiest. That's just going to be a length of one because it's the radius of this circle. So that's good. And then this orange is not going to be too hard either. Notice we can complete this into a little bit of a subsquare. So since these hit the outer square at a 90 degree angle, we know that this orange side length, this orange side length, and this portion of a segment and this portion of a segment complete a square. And that's a square with side length 1. Again, we know that because the radius of the circle is 1. But if that's side length one, then just by the Pythagorean theorem, we know that this has diagonal of the square root of two. Now you can also figure that out just by calculating it. Notice we need one squared plus one squared to be equal to this squared, which would obviously be the square root of two squared. Or you can also argue that this is a 45 degree angle. But notice we've got one plus root two for this half of a diagonal of the square. Okay, so now let's calculate it in this other direction. So notice from here to here is exactly the radius of one of these larger circles. So this is length one. And how do we see that? Well, maybe it's a little bit easier if we transpose this red line up to here. Notice it goes from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle, so that means it's the length or radius of the circle. Okay, so now this one is pretty easy to calculate. Here we'll have a length of r. Given that the radius of the small circle is unknown, we'll give that um, variable r. And now we can go ahead and calculate this length here the same way way we calculated the orange. So we'll complete this into a square. We see that it's a square with side length r. Then using the Pythagorean theorem, we see that this bit right here is going to be the square root of 2 times r. Okay, so now we're ready to add everything up. So again, yellow plus orange, that's 1 plus square root of 2 will be equal to 
red plus green plus blue. So let's get in that in there. So red is gonna be one, green is going to be R, and then blue is going to be R times the square root of two. Okay, so now we're ready to pretty easily solve for R. So notice that we can cancel the ones from both sides, and that leaves us with the square root of two equals R times the quantity one plus the square root of two after factoring an R out of those top two terms. Okay, now we can just divide by one plus the square root of two, leaving us with R equals the square root of two over one plus the square root of two. And that would be our final answer. So like I said, for homework, maybe a good exercise would be to determine the side length of the square. And maybe a more interesting homework problem would be to fit another circle somewhere in this picture really anywhere you want, but let's say another circle right here and see if you can find the radius of this circle. I'll call it X. So find X. And that's a good place to stop.